When students know they are loved, accepted, safe, and respected by their teacher and other students, they are more likely to come to class ready to learn. The acceptance and love they feel from others can soften their hearts, reduce fear, and engender within them the desire and confidence necessary to share their experiences and feelings with their teacher and classmates. Teachers will be able to learn and apply principles and actions that will help learners feel accepted, safe, and respected in class. Let us listen to Elder Kim Clark as he discussed how we can help our students feel accepted, safe, and respected. After their discussion, let us listen to Brother Chad Webb as he discussed a model or an example of how a teacher helped the student feel accepted, safe, and respected in his class. You, know, you asked really you asked the question about uh, how do you create the environment. I think there's a passage in the Doctrine and Covenants that gives us some just a really powerful insight into that question. It's in the 88th section. Comes after the Lord has taught the prophet about learning by faith and about preparing ourselves. And then there's this wonderful phrase where he says, above all else, clothe yourselves with the bond of charity. Hmm. It's an interesting phrase, above all else. And he's talking about teaching and learning. And, said, and the message is, the most important thing you can do in that classroom or in your family or wherever you're teaching is to establish bonds of charity. And that word bond, um, it kind of reminds us of covenants. And that leads you to the salutation in the school of the prophets where the Lord instructs us to say, you know, I am your brother forever, fixed, immovable, and I will be your brother and I will love you and care for you. And I think the reason why that's so important in a classroom setting is that in a classroom like the one we're talking about, you are trying to get students to act by speaking, presenting, talking, bearing testimony, sharing experiences. And that can be a little bit scary. Yeah. Unless you're in an environment where you know that the people love you and you're loved and that no matter what you say, even if you make a little mistake or you don't get it quite right, people won't jump down your throat. They'll love you and you'll be okay. So you create a very um, almost a safe environment where you're psychologically, emotionally, spiritually safe. And, and teachers are the ones who really do that uh, by creating, as Sister Dalton said, and Brother he said, in their, in their lives that they come and they love. That's why teachers need to have the pure love of Christ, that they love their students and the students feel it. So then they're saying, well, I'll raise my hand and say, well, this is what I think, or, well, I think this is what I would do, or this is what I think this means, or I had an experience and here it is. And sometimes those experiences are very tender, and, and, but they're powerful and, and in, in great teaching moments. And without them, you know, all it is is kind of talk. Mm -hmm. and, but where, there, where that love is there, you, you get people opening up and being willing to exercise their agency and act. I think that's why the Lord said, above all else, clothe yourselves with the bonds of charity. This false perception causes them to believe they don't fit in. Some even feel that if they ask a sincere question or share a heartfelt perspective, they'll be judged or thought of as less than faithful. They also said they would be more likely to attend if it were a place where everyone was welcome, regardless of inward faith or outward appearance. Recently, Brother Linford saw a young woman standing in front of one of our buildings. He introduced himself and asked if she was enrolled in a class. Her answer was that she was a member of the church and knew about Institute, but was not attending. She added, if you knew me and knew my past, you would know I don't belong there. I wouldn't fit in. Fortunately, this young woman accepted Brother Linford's invitation to come inside, where she was greeted warmly. She enrolled in a class and immediately started attending. 
but I've wondered how many hundreds, even thousands, have stood outside our buildings needing exactly what our classes offer, but feeling afraid they won't fit in.